Now, putting aside all of this, there's also an inherent range of error uh, with the breathalyzers. Now, there, there's some disagreement among experts whether the range of error is a 0.01 or 0.02, but I think the sort of consensus in the community is that it's a 0.02. And it's important to understand what that means. That's saying that even if none of the problems that I just discussed exist, even if everything was done perfectly, there's still always going to be an inherent margin of error of a 0.02. So somebody who blows a 0.09 really could be a 0.11 or they could be a 0.07. Now because of this, because of this, nobody who blows a 0.09 or 0.08 should ever be charged with DUI because it's unfair. They should be given the benefit of the doubt. They're within the margin of error. And any scientist would tell you, you can never draw a scientific conclusion based on a data point that's in the margin of error. We have a saying in our criminal justice system that it's better to let 10 guilty people go free than to convict one innocent person. And yet every day we are convicting people of DUI, taking away their license, taking away their livelihood, sending them to jail sometimes based on spurious evidence. If you took a DUI breath test and the reading from the machine simply does not match the drinking pattern, simply does not make sense given the amount of alcohol that you actually drank, then we encourage you to fight back. Call us here at Shouse Law Group, tell us the circumstances, we'll evaluate the case, and we'll see what can be done to get your charges reduced or dismissed.